Okay, so the way we do roof battens on this type of construction is we put these two right up here on the very peak because our center beam on our ridge, it comes right through underneath that and we want to bolt these 125 mil batten screws in to the top of that center ridge beam. Now, when you screw down into there, you're making sure that you hit into the top of the center ridge beam. In this case, the ridge beam is nice and wide, it's 70 mil, so there's plenty of meat for the screw to hang into. And you put them about every one meter apart. Now, as you come down, you've got your next beam just under here. You can see we've tacked on these ceiling boards here, the roofing boards, and the beam in this case is on an angle. So it's on a slight angle, a bit hard to show you from here, but it's on an angle. And what I've done is put a screw in here. I'm going to run a string line across to the other end. Got another screw on the next beam. Now you don't have to put them on every beam, but rule of thumb is every every one meter there should be a um, roof batten, and mainly so that when you're walking along the roof, you don't um, you don't put dents in it. So you can see here we've put our our marker in our screw and I've run a string line right across. I've removed the string line now. And we've started off with our batten flush on the outside edge with our fascia here. And it's flush. And we put your first screw about 100 mil back and then one meter from there on back. On here, I've purposely left it overhanging so I can show you that you cut your saw, bring your saw down here and just cut it off flush with the front section there and this one's actually been screwed up from underneath so now we've put our outside roof batten on we've got our piece of trim underneath and we're going to screw our screw up and what it'll do it'll pull this all together and hold it nice and neat i've got a cramp at the other end trusty f clamp again to hold it into place for us and we're going to screw that up now You can see there that pulled that piece there in really nice and tight. And we're going to put the rest of our screws in right along and then we'll put our fascia board on. 